Set head space and timing on a caliber 50 machine gun within eight minutes. You're gonna come up to the weapon. You're gonna open the feature. And clear the weapon. Attract bolt to align barrel locking spring lug. You're gonna turn it in. Clear the clips. Once it reaches the end, you clip twice back. back and now you open up your headspace to ensure the firing pin is retracted at the end you're going to charge the weapon and you're going to let the bolt go forward but you're going to ride the bolt forward without so you won't damage any of the weapon and make sure the bolt stays locked. Grab your headspace gauge with your go side you're going to retract at least one sixteenth from the one sixteenth of an inch from the turning block insert the go right here. If the go gauge does not go inside, you will have to turn the barrel kind of one click. Then you'll attempt to put the go gauge back inside. Remember separating 1 16th and an inch from the front end block. The go gauge should go to the ring and once it goes to the ring that's when you'll know you'll have a good and then you'll switch it to the no-go side. And a no go check should not go in. If it does go in, then you have a bad fit. But this is this is a go right here. And now headspace is now set. So moving on, you move straight into setting your timing. So first, you put in your fire gauge onto the barrel bivel, bivel facing towards the barrel. Lock it in place, and you'll attempt to fire at a weapon. Weapon should not fire. You remove it. You pull the back plate out and then you'll turn it one click to the right or clock. Put this back on. Put your fire gauge back. Label facing towards the barrel. Attempt the fire. And you'll keep, continue repeating the process until you'll heal up. You'll hear the weapon fire. Always remembering to pull the fire gauge out before you pull the back plate off. So always making sure the fire gauge is inside when you're attempting to fire the weapon. Now the weapon fired. Now that that's happened, I will um, remove this gauge, set the finger paw down, and you will go back to the back plate and you will return it two clicks the same direction you're going. You will put this back in with the finger paw ensuring it's down so you don't damage it. You're going to start the weapon, let it go forward. You're then going to put the no-go side in, double facing in, you tuck the fire to weapon, it should not fire, and then you'll put the fire side in. Time stop at this moment. Okay, so that's the go in. So insert that, and it should fit all the way to the ring. All the way to the ring. That's a go. Then you change to the no-go side. No go in should not go. So that will tell you your headspace is set. And then um, now we can do the timing part. The timing is usually the thinner one, and the no go on the timing is the thicker one. So when you're putting it in, you want to put it right there, with the bevel facing towards the barrel. So will the weapon fire? So when you hear the click, you know the weapon is timed, and then charge the weapon. Use the no-go gauge, weapon should not fire, and then pull it out again. And this is how you adjust your timing. Point, 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 point. To the, that way. So clockwise? Roger, you'll be moving it clockwise, because yeah. that will bring the nut upwards. Okay. 